The parents of Leah Sharibo have still not given up hope of reuniting with their daughter even after four years of captivity, or four years in captivity. She was abducted by Boko Haram terrorists alongside 110 other girls at Dabchi in Yobe State. Addressing the press conference in Yola, the, Sharibo, uh, ex the Sharibos expressed worry that in spite of repeated promises that her daughter would regain her freedom, the Buhari administration is wrapping up without any sign the promises will be kept. Uh, kept. A correspondent to Ola Bredenusi has more on the story. Born and Leah Sharibu remains in captivity. It has been a harrowing experience for the parents of this girl who still have hopes of reuniting with her one day. But that does not appear to be any time soon. This is particularly awful for Leah's parents who plead with President Momodu Buhari to write his name in gold by securing the freedom of their daughter. I'm pleading with the president of Nigeria, Mr. Muhammad Buhari, to fulfill his promise. Because he has made a several promises. He promised the family, he promised Nigerians, and even promised the whole world that his administration would do his possible best to see that my daughter return home safely. And up to now, today is a good four years without hearing anything from him again. One thing we want to plead with Mr. President, that should be a legacy that he should leave behind for his two tenors, is that he will fulfill the promises he has made, that Leah Sharibu will be back home. One of the victims of Boko Haram, who recently regained freedom, shared her encounter with Leah and others. She confirmed that Leah now has two children for the outlaw husband. She urged government to remember those in the clutches of the outlaws. I happen to be one of those that were privileged to be released um, last year, 2021, from the captivity of Boko Haram. And it's no longer a story that Leah is still alive and has two children, as we've been hearing the news. So Leah is very much alive and the likes of her, so many other young girls who are out there living helpless lives, hoping that a day will come that the government would remember them. The question on the lips of many remains, when will Leah be set free? It is believed that she was forced to accept Islam before being married off to a top Boko Haram commander after initially refusing to renounce a Christian faith.